As Michael Jenga promised you, uh, we now have in studio Homer Bay Senator on my right, Otino Kajuang, okay. and uh, Garissa Township Member of Parliament, Adan Duale, who's also the National Assembly Majority Leader on my left. Well, thank you very much both for making time for us. Remember, the newsful question tonight is, should the IABC be disbanded? Of course, uh, from what we've heard already, Cord thinks so. So please pinpoint for us why exactly do you want the IABC to be disbanded? Not the IABC. IABC is a <coughs> constitutional institution. Mm -hmm. It is the people in the IABC who give it a bad name. <coughs> Look at what they have done in the short run. One, they have not published the results of the elections, which they should have done in 30 days after the election. In 30 days. They will now say they will publish it in September, seven months after the election contrary to the provisions of the act that creates them. Mm. If you look at the results that they have refused to publish because the math does not add up, these are the glaring facts. One, the turnout in the five elections other than the presidential, you remember that there is the governor, the senator, the women rep, the MP, and so on. In those elections, if you add up the average, the turnout is 72 percent. Just a minute. The presidential, the turnout is 86 percent, which means that there are more people who voted for the, in the presidential election than in the other elections. And yet, mm -hmm. you are being given six ballot pe papers. But I really want to know where you're getting the statistics from. We if have they them. have not released, if no, IBC has not released them. But they announced the results. We saw them on the screen. They gave it to us <coughs> when we went to court. We put it in an affidavit, and the court rejected it. But there was a court ruling on this matter. We know. You went to the Supreme Court. Yes, we know. They upheld the election. Yeah, we know. There were a few challenges, we know. but nothing major to change or to make uh, a repeat of the presidential yes, election. Remember, yes. remember that it is this that we wanted to say in that 800-page uh, document, which pointed out at all these details, including <coughs> the fact that there are 1.7 million voters who voted for the president but didn't vote for all these others, without showing us where these five ballot papers went. Well, well to, with all fairness and with all due respect to what you're saying, you had a time, there's a time frame with which you had to present this, uh, the 900-page affidavit. Mm -hmm. You failed to beat uh, the deadline. The court made a ruling, the Supreme Court, and we went past that. I'm just wondering why now the timing? You know, because you've been <coughs> silent since all this, and now you're seeing you saying you need all these commissioners or changes in the IBC. The fact that the court found what they found does not change facts. Is it is that a no, no, is no, it no, facts? I think, uh, I think uh, my very good friend, the senator, is missing, uh, missing it out. One, the constitution is very, very clear. An election takes place. The aggrieved party, particularly for the presidential, the Supreme Court was created, among other things, for, pre to, for, for, for it to look at disputes within the presidential elections. Within 14 days, within 14 days, the court coalition filed their case. A determination was done. And it was the court coalition that which, was, which was saying, we have a solid case. We have evidence. But to the contrary, the court ruled in favor of IEBC mm -hmm. and upheld the, the, the results. Mm -hmm. But more fundamentally, uh, uh, Hussein, in 2008, 2000, 2007, 2008, this country went fundamentally to reform a number of key institutions, mm -hmm. the judiciary, under the new constitution, the, the judiciary, a reformed IEBC, new police service commission, many, many others, the office of the auditor general, the office of the uh, director of budget, when these institutions were, were, were reformed, the people, the commissioners, went through a serious vetting process. Selection panel, names were submitted to the two principals by then, mm -hmm. which court uh, leader was a, a, a principal. The names that he agreed with, the nine names, including the chair of IBC, yeah. was agreed on by both President Kibaki and Prime, former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, mm -hmm. came to Parliament. Mm -hmm. It was approved. The BVR kit was a government 
project in which the former prime minister sat and participated as the coordinator and supervisor of cabinet. Mm -hmm. Now, coming back and saying that IEBC should be reformed, in my opinion, I think is not the institution. It is the players, the political leadership in this country must reform. You're talking about code. We're talking about not only code, but all of us. Starting with the prime minister, I think he should reform. Because once you lose an election, you don't cry back and say it is an institution. So I think for me, it is the political class in this country that should reform, not the institutions. Mm -hmm. But having, having said that, what is coming out of court now is even more worse than even reforming the institution. When my colleague uh, and the prime minister today say no elections will take place, that means circumventing the democratic process of the Kenyan people. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Because you cannot have a situation in which you go to a football match <coughs> and you score and somebody says offside. And they score with the hand and somebody says goal. Or you go into a football match and somebody plays with rugby rules when it should be football. And then you are not supposed to say, this is not football, this is rugby. They say, no, no, no. You know, we agreed on the referee. <laughs> And, and now you can't complain, even if the referee does not do his job. Who is going to keep quiet? You are given a responsibility, whether you're the president, whether you're the chief justice, and that is, yeah. whether you're the electoral commission chairman, mm -hmm. you must carry the responsibility that people have given, the Kenyans have given you, with dedication and I think with absolute honesty. But what we have seen here, you remember that all results, including mine, were announced. Mine were announced at Homer Bay. The constituency ones were announced at each constituency. And according to the law, that is the result. What the returning officer announces is the result. Seven months later, they cannot publish that result. What has gone wrong with this arithmetic of just adding up Garesa, Beta? No, no, yeah. I was saying, saying it's missing the point. What we are expecting from IABC, the result we are expecting from IABC, which I hope they will do it, is the media which is saying September, maybe they will do it earlier is for the result that will be used on how political parties will share the 330 million budgeted for. But should it be different? It has nothing to do with it. Should and, it and, 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 I, and I expect my colleagues to wait and wait for that once the financial is just started. But more fundamentally, I was saying, more fundamentally, if you want to disband IBC, you will not disband the institution. You remove the commissioners. Article 249 of the Constitution gives the objects and the functioning of commissions. Article 250 talks about the composition. Mm. Article 251 gives you the roadmap in which you can remove either individual or all the commissions mm. of any commission, including IBC. IBC commissioners cannot be removed through a political rally, through a funeral. They will be removed through the law. Okay. And the law is very clear. So uh, my, 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 my good friend, the senator, the, the court coalition, the, prime, the former prime minister, must at all times adhere to the principle of the constitution. Yeah. Mm -hmm. why, 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 okay, we need to move very fast. Mm -hmm. Why do you say IEBC is TNA and TNA is IBC? Because it is. You see how IEBC is being defended by TNA. <laughs> this is the institution. We thought it was a national institution. We thought it would protect us as it would protect them. But now, why, 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 like why, why, why was ECK in 2007 was PNU? Yeah, why yeah. is IEBC becoming a TNA? But why should why should always why should it be always the case for either OTM or court that the referee yeah. is not seeing what is being scored? But let me why let should me, they always cry? Let me but you know. Let me let me just think, take it from. I the think after every general election, mm. and for 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 these uh, for these particular elections, we had a new constitution, and in in my opinion, IEBC did what they could do within the time given. They did six elections in mm. one day. I'll not take that. No, you, no, know, no. you know, I'll not take that. You know, if it was done in one day, how come the turnout in one is more than the turnout in the other? I'd really like us to but move from, yeah. I'd, I'd really like us to move. That is why I'm questioning, um, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you why now. Because yeah. I'd really like us to move from what was ruled by the Supreme Court. Yeah. Uh, did you, let me ask this for the jubilee, because I had you today say, mm. and I had the Prime Minister to say today in Laikipia, that there is 
a conspiracy not to have Kathy Kilonzo run yeah. in the McQueenie senatorial uh, race. Yeah. And you will not accept it. What do you mean, by the way, when you say you will not accept that? We will not accept if it. If the High Court rules. We will not accept it. Whether the High Court rules or not, that is the rule of the, of the law. You will accept that. That is, it goes as far as we are concerned. But we don't have to accept it. You know, a, a judgment can be against you, can be in your favor. You don't have to accept it. That is why people appeal. And if there is no appeal, then of course... Did that is the final uh, decision, but you don't have to accept it. There's an allegation they have made, and uh, Kathy Kilonzo also said in court, that Jubilee severally courted her to run uh, they have not in one of their affiliate... Yeah. Yeah. They have not did why, did why, that happen? Why should we look for a candidate who's not even in the first place registered? We follow the constitution. Oh. We know the law. Uh, I so Jubilee I, I never approached... We never approached Kathy Kilonzo. Because she was not registered. No, listen. And, 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 and Hussein, for us... We present candidates as per the law. Why do we present a candidate in the first place is not registered as per the constitution? Uh, let me respond to that. Honorable Ndete was a, a star witness against Kathy. She said several times that she tried to talk to Kathy. And why was she trying to talk to her? So that she could choose any of the coalition members of Jubilee to run on. Any of them. And in fact, she said it four or five times. I was watching it on TV. So d don't deny that. I well, let us agree I that. She's uh, not a member of uh, URP, neither is she a member of TNA. But she's a member and, of NAC. And, 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 and I want to say it categorically yeah. that candidates that we present, because we believe in the rule of law, we believe in the Constitution, we believe in fair winning of elections. Why do we present a candidate that we will be in the kind of situation? Now, code is in. First of all, why did, how did you know that she was not and, and, and No, 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 let, let me just put it this way. You know, even before Kathy presented her papers, there was already chaos. Now, there is saying, Kathy is not registered. How did you even know? You know, it's like you, 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 <laughs> from the day one, you decided that if Kathy does not stand with our party, then we must destroy her. And, and, and that is what you have tried. Well, do, do I'm you, not sure you whether know, you will you know, succeed. You know why they picked on Keith? Keith? Mm -hmm. The only way the Wiper Democratic Movement could have won the McQueen elections yeah. was through presenting the daughter of the former late uh, minister. And that is why you must stop her. And, 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 okay. and, 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 <laughs> no, that, that, that's not the issue. Yeah. And for you, you didn't, you didn't go into the issues of checking the papers of your candidates. In our case, candidates present to our respective mm -hmm. political parties. Okay, then I have a question for you. Clearly then, you have confidence in the IEBC. Oh, we have confidence in IEBC. So my question is, uh, if IEBC has said clearly, of course, they have appealed, and there's a case going on at the High Court, but during the, uh, the case that was being heard and determined by the dispute uh, resolution. resolution tribunal of the IEBC, they said clearly, Kathy was not a registered voter. If it were not, for the citizens of Makweni County who went uh, to appeal and say there is a problem here, then clearly IBC had or would have allowed someone who's not a registered voter to go ahead. How can you have confidence in such you an know, institution? Uh, Hussein, if you, if you follow it very well, when Kate presented her papers on the nomination day, in the presence of the top leadership of court, yes. led by none other than the former uh, prime minister, the returning officer said, he checked Kate's name in the McQueen register. You couldn't find her. In the first green book. Yes. Yes. He found it. The only thing, there was only one green book remaining. Yes. And the returning officer said the burden of proof still lies with IBC but, and, 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 the remaining, but, but and the remaining yeah. green book. Yeah. When, when, when the tribunal started its work, and it was open, you, guys, I mean, you people were showing it live. But before the evidence yeah. and evidence and facts were presented. What I'm talking about, uh, Mushimura, is before the tribunal. What uh, the returning officer said, Salat Boru, is he hoped that an appeal would be lodged. And somehow an appeal was lodged by the citizens. So I'm saying if the citizens did not lodge that appeal, then IBC would have allowed and given a nomination certificate to someone who was not registered. Mm -hmm. How can you have confidence in such an institution? I don't think so. That Bef was the case. Before, before the nomination, before the nomination, there was a citizen who complained about Kate's registration validity. Mm -hmm. Before the nomination. Okay, she had... A, she before had, there was a case, even before when she, was, when she was presenting her papers, the validity of her, uh, of her registration was in question 
by a citizen. Mm -hmm. and, and the returning of Mr. Boru said, we are yet to confirm and the burden of proof lies with IBC. No, no, no. So no. whether... Let me, let so me whether, just tell okay. So let me finish. Whether, very briefly, very briefly. Because so whether, the time, yeah. whether a citizenry complained again, the Tay and others came later, IBC was under mandate to confirm the mm. validity of our gesture. Finally, very briefly, still on, on the competence of IBC and if you really have confidence in them, don't you, does it bother you that she was issued with an acknowledgement slip yes. that was stolen? And this is an institution that you trust? Today, you can get a stolen badge from citizen uh, or, or, or royal media company. And until and unless royal media company says, this badge does not belong to us, still you can use it. So for us, for us, but from that the belonged day, to them. That belonged to the IBC. No, 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 no. That was a fact. No, it was stolen from them. Exactly. It was a fake one. So it was so stolen from. The the I, it came from them. That's why Jubilee was saying, the institutions mandated the CIG, the ethics, mm -hmm. must go to the bottom, must arrest the people within IBC mm -hmm. and within the court coalition, mm -hmm. who made sure that Kate Kilonzo got an irregular uh, acknowledgement receipt. The final. First final of final. all. Stolen, those are words from IEBC. They are telling us it is stolen. Their own returning officer has given a certificate of clearance. The returning officer is final in taking it, giving the certificate of clearance and publishing the result. Final. There is no other authority. You cannot now make a, a, put a, a, create a court against yourself. You know what IEBC is doing? They have already given a certificate. Then they create a court against themselves, within themselves. That's why people say they are Jews. But let me okay, just I finish one thing. Yeah, I, I just want to highlight yeah. two things. Very briefly, please. Very briefly. But that constituency, the arrow gave a certificate to a winner, and we withdrew it. In Makadara, somebody was declared a winner and was withdrawn. In uh, Kalemendile, yeah. Again, we are going back it, to it is crazy. What these people have done. Again, we are going back to issues that were already determined. And that is why I want to leave it there. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. That is uh, Homer Bay Senator Otieno Kajuang and National Assembly Majority Leader Adam Doale is also Garissa Township MP. Thank you very much, both of you, for making time for us. Uh, the question again, our news poll is, should IABC dis be disbanded? Send us uh, your comments. Right now, I'll take you back to Michael Jenga and